Hurry, drop a like on this video and you guys will get the Season 11 Battle Pass for 100% free in Fortnite's Battle Royale. We finally have the brand new and exclusive glow skin available to get in Fortnite Battle Royale. And luckily for you guys, I am going to be hooking a few lucky subscribers up with the brand new glow skin. So if you guys do want a chance to get gifted it from me, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and also leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below. And if you're a part of the hashtag notification squad, let me know where you're at down in the comments as well. I love seeing you guys down there. And we're also getting super, super close to 600,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help us on this journey, go down and hit that big red button and subscribe to the channel. And I also wanted to give a huge shout out to all of you guys using my supporter creator code NERPA in the Fortnite item shop. The support means the world to me and you guys are absolute legends. So one of the biggest questions that a lot of us Fortnite players have had these last few days is when the release of season 11 is actually going to be taking place. Luckily for us, the battle pass does have a countdown timer on when the season ends, but it did say that it was going to end in a few days, yet data miners over in the PC community were able to go in the files and find that the coding for when season 11 was going to start was actually a different date than what the battle pass was previously showing us. Now yesterday, we actually just had the last update of season 10, and luckily for us, they actually updated the battle pass countdown timer which shows that there is nine days left until the release of season 11 and this is pretty much 100% confirmed at this point now if you guys look at a calendar nine days from the time of making this video it actually falls on October 12th which means that the following day is when season 11 is going to start which is on October 13th which is a Sunday now this is pretty exciting because we finally have 100% confirmation on when the season is going to be starting and on top of that this is the first time ever that we have seen Fortnite actually release a brand new season or a massive update in that term on a weekend that's not a Tuesday or Thursday. So this is very exciting. The brand new season is going to be available on a weekend when everyone has off school. So everyone's going to be able to enjoy it. And it's going to be the first time in 10 seasons that we have a brand new season released on a Sunday. Now, obviously another very exciting feature that people are looking forward to in season 11 is going to be the brand new battle pass. And since we are getting so close to release of season 11, we pretty much have all of the information that you guys need to know on the brand new battle pass as well. One of the awesome features that they added this season that is confirmed going to be staying this next season is actually being able to gift the season 11 battle pass which is going to be awesome so for those of you guys out there that maybe can't afford it some of your friends can hook you up and you guys already know here on the channel i am going to be gifting a bunch of subscribers the brand new battle pass when it is released now on top of that we actually know a brand new cosmetic category that's going to be coming in season 11 and there's actually going to be a few different tiers in the season 11 battle pass that actually allow us to grant this item for free by unlocking and ranking up the tiers and that brand new item in Fortnite Battle Royale is going to be the weapon charms. Thanks to some data miners over on Twitter and they were able to find that the weapon charms are coded and put into the Athena files which is the Fortnite Battle Royale files if you guys were unaware and pretty much what they're going to look like. I'll throw it up on the screen so you guys can get a rough idea and a good idea of what's to come when it comes to these weapon charms which are going to be coming in the season 11 battle pass. It's basically just another way to customize your weapon make it a little bit more personable and it's going to allow you to make your gun look a lot cooler because now we actually have weapon wraps and weapon charms to allow to customize our guns a little bit more. Now probably the biggest thing that everyone is very exciting for including myself Thanks to all the information that we've gathered from data miners getting stuff from the Fortnite Battle Royale files, there is a 99% chance that we are going to be getting a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale map at the release of Season 11. Obviously, we've had the same map for 10 full seasons, literally since the start of Fortnite Battle Royale. We've been playing on the same map and they've constantly just updated it, but a lot of people are speculating with these brand new points of interest that we were able to find in the files that Season 11 might be the first season that we finally get a brand new new entire map which is really really exciting news i'll throw it up on the screen shout out to lucas 7 yoshi he's the one that was able to find these these are all the brand new locations and points of interest that were found in the files which are hinting towards the season 11 map update which is going to be coming and these are pretty much all the names of all of them there is 11 in total so starting from the top i'm briefly just going to go down the list so you guys can get a good idea of what's to come we have beachy bluffs camp cod creative island dirty docks Frenzy Farm, Holly Hedges, Lazy Lake, Mountain Meadow, Power Plant, 
Slurpy Swamp, Sunny Shores, and Weeping Woods. Now, like I said, there's only 11 here, but if you guys do take a look back at the season one map, there was actually only 12 points of interest to start. So this is why a lot of people are speculating that after 10 full seasons, we're getting brand new map. And there's also already 11 new leaked points of interest names that were found in the files, which means they are 100% going to be coming at the release of season 11. Now, on top of all of this exciting news, season 11 also falls on a very special date. If you guys take a look here, season 11 obviously starts October 13th and is going to go through the rest of October into November. And that means that Fort Nightmares 2019 is going to be taking place in this upcoming season 11 update. For all of you veterans out there that have been playing Fortnite for the last few years or since it started, you guys know exactly what Fort Nightmares is. It's pretty much the Halloween event that they throw to kind of get in the spirit and season of Halloween. Fortnite 2017 was the first ever Fort Nightmares event that they did. It actually took place in season one. And I think that in terms of community feedback and the hype, I think Fort Nightmares is probably the biggest event that they do every year. And obviously, since it's coming up in season 11, it's very exciting news because this is going to be the third annual Fort Nightmares event, which we are going to be getting, which is awesome. If you guys missed it the last two years, pretty much Fort Nightmares is an update that they do for Halloween. And last season, they actually brought a bunch of brand new skins into the game. They released some of the OG skins back into the item shop for players to get, like the Skull Trooper. They also released some brand new variations of the skin. And on top of that, there was actually an exclusive challenge set that allowed us to unlock a bunch of free items and rewards and overall it's just a really fun seasonal event that they do that I know a lot of people look forward to. Now what's really cool about this Fort Nightmares event is we actually have a bunch of skin names that we know that are going to be coming for this Fort Nightmares event in terms of the brand new Halloween skins that they're going to be releasing. Now I did make a full on video talking about Fort Nightmares yesterday so if you guys missed that video I would definitely recommend going and checking that out once you finish this video because I do go a little bit more in depth but I did want to cover the nine brand new skins that were found in the coding for the Fort Nightmares 2019 event and updates so you guys have a good idea of some of the brand new skins you can expect once season 11 is released and the Fort Nightmares event starts. So I'll throw it up on the screen so you guys can read along with me. Starting from the top going down we have the Skull Trooper Neon, the Gangster Monster, the Gold Trooper, the Cuddle Team Dark, the Dark One, Slurp Creature, Wraith, Pale Spooky and Modern Witch. Again, like I said, there's nine brand new skins and also some of these are going to be variations of skins that we've seen in the past, like a male version of the Gold Trooper and also the Skull Trooper Neon skin returning back into the game as well, which is very, very exciting. And of course, on top of that, just like last year for Fort Nightmares 2018, we're most likely going to be getting an exclusive challenge set, unlocking a bunch of free items. And then of course, there's also going to be some map updates and changes to kind of get more into the spirit of Halloween and make the game feel a little bit more spooky for the Halloween vibes. Now, the last piece of information that we know is 100% going to happen at the start of season 11. Although this doesn't seem big to some of you guys, it is actually very huge. And that is that Fortnite is actually coming out of early access beta and actually being released as a full on game for the first time in two years since Fortnite has literally ever been a thing. I don't know if you guys ever realized, but when you're loading up into games or after you die in a game and you're going back to the lobby menu in the top right corner, it will actually say early access beta. And this whole time, Fortnite has technically been in a beta state and for the first time people found in the files that this is actually going to be coming out of beta state which is very exciting because this is going to allow Fortnite to do a lot more with their content since their game is technically not in beta anymore and I'm hoping that since they are leaving beta this is going to lead to a lot bigger updates maybe more support on the game maybe a little bit more money throwing that way and in the end it's just going to result in us getting more updates and more and more attention to detail on the game which is very exciting especially because season 11 is going to be a very important season in terms of Fortnite's popularity. Season 10 obviously wasn't one of the most popular seasons. I actually think it was one of the worst in my opinion and I think a lot of you guys watching can agree for multiple reasons but season 11 is going to be very huge and I really hope they bring the thunder and make it one of the best seasons we've had in a very long time. So that's all I got for you guys in today's video. What I want you guys to do before we end it off is let me know your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section of all of the information that we know for Fortnite season 11 so far. Which one are you guys most excited for and why i love going down and reading the comments and seeing what you guys have to say that's all i got for you guys in today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy my friends
All right, I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys that made it this far in the video. Obviously, I want to say thank you guys. If you're seeing this or hearing this, that means you got to the very end. And uh, to thank you guys for watching the entire video, because I know not a lot of people actually get to the very end, I'm going to give you guys a special chance to enter in a special Season 11 Battle Pass giveaway. I actually did this a few videos ago. I'm going to be doing it every few videos just to give you guys incentive to watch to the end and uh, to basically give you guys a special reward. So what you guys need to do to enter this is go down in the comment section and just put Season 11 Battle Pass. That way, I know that you guys got this far, and if I see you enter that phrase, then you'll be entered in a chance to win the Season 11 Battle Pass giveaway that I'm going to be doing on this video make sure not to tell anyone though keep it a secret i only want the people that got to the very end of the video to know how to enter so thank you guys again for watching the entire video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one